Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys another spectacular millhouse run where you really just play what you're given, but the Crip way. I uncompromisingly played high tavern tier options to a point where it's just comical in some cases to keep going and still play some trash because, you know, millhouse he really does turn trash to treasure. Stone, please save us from PoE. Maybe that'll motivate you guys to complain on Reddit. You just got your combs dropped, first one. A poll on how many times I'll reference Dark Moon in a day. What's your strategy this time, partner? <laughs> that one might make all the difference. <laughs> I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Boats needs Cadgar build. Uh, I mean, if the game gives me those cards, maybe. But I'm not going to force crap like that. The ominous Headhunter tweet. Yeah, Headhunter is a pretty stupid item in my opinion. But I know a number of people only play the game for the Headhunter play style. Um... <clears throat> Up the pressure. It's good to get some minions in play. One dragon beat one Merlon. Yeah, the attack would be wasted. What would be the best way to take care of Headhunter? I don't know. Limit buffs, yeah. That's not bad. What is Headhunter? Headhunter is an item in Path of Exile that when you kill a rare monster, you uh, you get its effects. Which seems innocent enough. But the truth is that it's very far from innocent. Um, that's because what people do is they create some map that typically has Nemesis, which gives like super buffed rares, and then they fracture Nemesis, and then they mirror the map with a fossil, which costs like an exalt, after they make it 100% delirious. And what ends up happening is they create a really hard map, but it's not very hard because the entire map is littered with uh, uh, rares that they just take the buffs. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. That one might make all the difference. You fracture beyond and put Nemesis via map device. Okay, or that. Uh, so basically you make something stupid hard and that's rewarding, but then you nullify the difficulty entirely. Oh, I don't know. It's also just a pretty good item in general. The self-curse temp chains crap. Yeah, but the self-curse mechanic is a pretty cool one that's on many different items. POE stuff sounds like I'm just making up phrases. That's what I'm doing. You caught me, dude. Well spotted. Nice work out there. They nerfed self curse by changing it so you lose temp chains when you kill a monster with hex proof. Oh, I don't know if they found a way around that one. That sounds pretty funny. I didn't like that one either. Do that. Good lord, these buffs.
Those should be able to take that unless that book's up there. Fuck. that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. <laughs> I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. My seal for the Argon. If I keep that and try to build a selfless hero, it would work out okay, I'd say. Sick death rattles. Well, yeah, if I get um, if I get a cleave, I'll swap it, but it's probably the next best thing there. Overwatch for half a dozen games. It's a pretty big hit there. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. One of these recruits. That's what I would have picked. My seal for the Argon. Okay. This board is like turn seven at six K MMR. Uh nah, this board is okay. And we haven't buffed it yet. Order? I think order is fine. This might die to an attack, and I don't really want the one-on-one -on -one attacking. I just want big hits and to finish with tokens at the end for damage. I was actually pretty lucky to not be dead. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. That's a great play. I can't wait to see this shake out. Do we go with a mech flip or do we go with Ragnaros for scaling? Probably Ragnaros. I like where you're going with this. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trip. Pretty cool turn. Yeah. Really cool.
Wow, that's super weak. I think I will win. The fuck? I'll fix the death rattle situation with the uh, selfless hero, hopefully. You're good at this. Oh, I skipped an elemental. The ancient ones return. Okay, <laughs> this is still kind of weak, but all right. Scaling, yes, scaling. Keep up the pressure. <laughs> You're down a minion and up a goal. Okay. Let's do that. I mean, this is turn 12. For turn 12, this isn't very strong. I mean, this this is quite strong. But leading up to this turn, there was definitely some some weird fucking things happening. Okay, looks like we're going to have a fight on our hands. That's good. Still has Bran. Oh man, his scaling's probably gonna be higher than mine. Alright. Well, let's see what we can do. Hmm. Well, if you see his damage range, I should have a few turns still. So. Okay, I guess. I just feel he's probably going to be over 50 to win next turn. And in my experience, people who win with 28, they tend to win with 50. <laughs> Get the amalgams. Yeah, it could be quite good. Looking pretty good there. Okay. Climate. 